In this video, I'm going to show you a beginner's workout to relieve stress. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next 30 days. If you want to find out more about our method, check the first link in the description and download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. So in the first part, it's only body weight. And then at the end, we're going to include a couple of kettlebell exercises. So here's what we're going to do. Bring both of your arms behind your back. Make sure you have a tight connection between your arms and your back. And now we start with the neck. So I look up to the ceiling, I pull my neck back. And now I look down to the floor. And now make a big movement, really exaggerate the movement. And down to the floor. One more. Imagine you're looking at the stars. Pull the neck back and down to the floor. And now we start rotating neck. So I look to the right side, I tilt the neck. And now I'm switching sides. Again, exaggerate the movement. Because these are movements that we rarely do in our everyday life. So give it all you got. One more. Don't forget to tilt the neck. You feel some resistance at the opposite side. And now completely relax. Now bring both of your arms to the front, shake it off. Now, long neck, push the neck out. And now double chin, I'm pulling my neck backwards. One more. And back. Long neck. And back. And the final one. Long neck. This is the anti-smartphone drill. And pull it back. And now hold that position. Now think about this. You want to pull your chin through the throat. Imagine you have an imaginary wall behind you. And the back of your skull, you now press the back of your skull into that imaginary wall while pulling the neck through your throat. Three, two, one. Now let's release the pressure from the neck by doing a 360 degree circle. Big circle. Now we're switching sides, it's the other side. And exaggerate it, and as you reach the back, really let your neck hang. If you feel some crackling, it's totally fine. And relax, awesome. Now we move down into the shoulders. So we start rotating the shoulder blades backwards. And as I do this, I really wanna pull the shoulders up. It's a big movement, big movement. And now give it some tempo. And now we're switching sides, the other side. And think about lifting the shoulders up. This is so important. It's not just the elbows, it's the shoulders. Pull them up to the ears. If you feel some crackling, it's totally fine. And now we use our arms. So I extend my arms in front of me. I inhale as I do this. As I reach the top, I keep my arms extended. And now I make a big circle as I come down. Now I exhale. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, switching sides, inhale, exhale, and really inhale with lots of force, exhale, make a big noise, last one, now we go into the chest area. So I open up my chest, the T-spine, I extend, and now I come back. So I inhale as I open up my T-spine, and I exhale as I close it. So, now I keep my arms extended to the sides, and now I start rotating. and use some momentum that you feel resistance in your abdominal section. And relax. Now we go into the windmill. Now I place both of my feet, I point them to the right side. So now I look to the right side. So now my hip, I push it to the left side. Imagine like you wanna take a picture for Instagram if you're a woman. Now, bring your elbow down to your quads like I do it, boom. 
Now, you have that connection. Now bring your left arm over your head, and now you wanna extend your arm at the right side. Imagine you wanna grab something right here. Hold that position. And now we come back up, and we're switching sides. Feet to the left, hips to the right. Now the left arm connects with the quads, with your inner thigh, and now the right arm goes over your head and you completely extend it. You wanna feel that stretch in your back. Keep that arm extended. Now stand back up, awesome. Now imagine you stand in a huge barrel, you hold your hips, and now we start rotating the hips. And imagine you wanna touch that barrel with your hips. You push the hips back, you push the hips to the front. Don't forget the sides, it's a big movement. Big movement. And we're switching sides now, other side. Big movement, big movement. Big movement. And relax. Now we move into the hinge. Imagine, shoulder width stance. Both of your arms are at your sides. Think about a ski jumper. You have to visualize it. What does the ski jumper do before he gets ready to jump? He pushes the hips back, upper body leans forward. Now I hold that position. Now I stand up. Now once again, holding that position, pushing the hips back. Back up. Now, bring both of your hands behind your neck. Now, push your neck inside your hands. You should feel some tension from your neck down to your T-spine, maybe down into your hips. Now, push the hips back, unlock the knees, just bend them a little bit, and make sure you have a straight chest, a straight spine, and a proud chest, even as you reach that bottom position. Now, stand up. And again, think about that ski jumper, pushing the hips back. Make sure you have a straight spine as you reach the bottom position. And up. Now arms over the head, the same thing. This is a little bit of a tough one now. Now pull your arms up, hold that position, and stand up. One more, pushing the hips back, arm over your head, and up. Now relax and shake it off, awesome. Now we isolate the right leg and we start rotating. Now it's gonna be a small circle, and you wanna push the heel down and pull the toes up. And now we make the circle a little bit bigger. And now we're switching sides, the other side, start rotating. And as you are moving through these exercises, breathe. And now, circle gets bigger. The more stable you are, the more that's an expression of your strength. And now relax, awesome. Now we go into the sumo stance. Now this is gonna hurt a little bit. Now, what are we going to do? It's gonna be a side to side squat, opening up the inner thighs. So I'm squatting to the right side, bending the knee, pushing the hips backwards. And now my leg that's extended goes on the heels and the toes look up. Now I'm switching sides. If you're not able to achieve that depth, don't worry about it. Just think about doing it. I've been doing this for a little bit longer now, so it's totally fine. Doesn't have to look like this from the get-go. Switching sides again, and watch. Toes up, and I'll go as far down as I can. And back up. This is how we open up those hips. And up, and now relax. We shake it off. Now I have the shoulder with stance, and now relax your mind. Don't be confined, completely relax. And fall or drop down into the bottom of a squat. Bend the knees, completely relax your body as you reach the bottom position. Imagine you have to sit on a very small stool and now you have to eat something on the floor. Completely relax and breathe. And now we stand up, and here we go. Overhead squats. So I go into the bottom of the squat, keeping the arm extended, and I come up. One more. One more. Last one. And relax. Now walk around. Good stuff.
Now for the last couple of minutes, we're going to grab a kettlebell. We're going to do very simple, easy exercises. So here's what we're gonna do with the first one. We do five reps of the double-handed clean and press. What does the exercise look like? Watch, one, two, three, grabbing the kettlebell by the bell itself, inserting my thumb inside the window of the kettlebell. Now the hand is close to my body. Now I press it up, bring it back down, and then I swing the kettlebell back up as I clean it. And now we start the exercise. You ready? Three, two, one. That's one. That's two. That's three. Last one. Emphasize the breathing. Drop the bell. Take it off. Walk around a little bit. Now it's going to be 10 hand-to-hand -hand swings. So I'm swinging the kettlebell between my legs and then I hip thrust it upward. And as the kettlebell reaches its apex right around here, I'm switching sides and let the kettlebell drop, drop back down into the backswing. Get ready, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the bell, relax. Now walk around again. Two more exercises and then we're done for today. Now it's going to be 10 goblet squats. I grab the kettlebell in that sandwich grip, then I sit down as far as I can, and then I come back up. Okay, now you ready? Three, two, one. Swing it up, grab it in the sandwich grip by the bell itself. Now squat down, just we did like we did in the beginning. That's two. Make sure you keep your torso as upright as possible. Three, and you wanna sit down as far, as low as you can. Four. Five. Emphasize the exhale in the bottom and at the top. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And drop the weight. Relax. Shake it off. Final exercise, suitcase walk. The kettlebell is right next to me. Now I have to grab it with my legs. Hinge, bending the knees just a bit, grabbing the weight, and now we start walking. Now, if you have to stop the video and relax, do it, no worries. You always wanna run your race, nobody else's. You wanna adapt to the exercise, the way your body tells you how to adapt to it. Now we do one more round, doesn't matter how big your flat, your home, or whatever it is, is it doesn't matter. Just walk around, even if it's a tight spot, you can walk around like this. And now drop the bell, switching sides. And as you grab it, think about you grabbing two kettlebells. And now, here's what you can do if you have a small space. Just walk around. Draw an eight on the floor. Now we do the last round. And now we drop the bell. Boom, and we did it. 
Now we're gonna head into a cool down, very simple. I lay on the floor on my stomach and both of my hands are placed them approximately at chest level. I extend my legs behind me and I make sure that my toes make contact with the floor. Now imagine the Sphinx. I extend my arms, I look towards the ceiling, I pull my neck back. Hold that position. Now knees go down on the floor, hips go up in the air. Extend your arms in front of you and now press the chest down to the floor as far as you can. If you have great mobility, lay on your le left or right cheek to increase the stretch. Now we do this again. Lay on the floor, hands at chest level. Chest up, I look towards the ceiling, I hold that position. Now knees down, hips up, extend your arms in front of you. Chest goes down. And now the final exercise, extend both of your legs on the floor, lay on your back, extend your arms at your sides, lift your left leg up, bring it to the right side, try to hold that leg and look to the left side and place that left arm down to the floor. We're switching sides, up. Hold that position. Three, two, one, and Congratulate yourselves, you did it. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean and press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells and if you made it this far, consider signing up for Kettlebell Plus. Hundreds of follow along workouts, skill lessons, tutorials, everything that you've been dreaming of of a solid kettlebell membership. What you've got right here is just the tip of the iceberg. We have so many follow along workouts with kettlebells to relieve stress, to build muscle, to get in shape. It's such a powerful offer. And the best thing about it, you can get started for only one dollar.